Right guys, so we've just got to Malta and we've just got to our hotel and oh my god, this is the nicest room I have ever stayed in. We Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sophie and I would love it if you click that big red subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell as well so that you never miss a video. So today I'm in Malta and um, you can see a cathedral behind me. We're currently in Melea, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I do not know but I, I need to learn it how to pronounce it because where the hotel is where we're staying you can literally view um this cathedral from our hotel rooftop bar um which unfortunately is closed <laughs> um because it's not the summer season but we were still able to just walk out onto there freely which was a bit odd <laughs> um the hotel's a bit confusing to get around but it's very nice um you would have seen me raving about the hotel earlier right guys so we've just got to Malta and we've just got to our hotel and oh my god this is the nicest room I have ever stayed in we have honestly the biggest balcony what and a view of the coast and we're on the top floor I feel like I feel like they must have upgraded us I don't know what happened um they also have oh gifted us little biscuits so yeah really excited to eat those and explore Malta <laughs> uh, but I'm really excited to explore Malta it is quite late now like probably like 7 p.m. so we're gonna get some like dessert a sweet snack and then probably gonna head to bed because today was travel day so you know we're tired but tomorrow we're going to explore. We've got some big plans for Malta. Malta looks incredible and I'm very excited to share with you all everything that we get up to. So we just went for a little wander around the area and made our way down to the bay where we got an ice cream and watched the most beautiful sunset. It was just the perfect end to the day. Good morning everyone. So today is our first full day in Malta. I am super excited. Um, sorry about the construction noise. I thought it'd be great to film on the balcony but there's construction going on. Um, basically today we are going to go explore Valletta which is the capital of Malta so very excited for that. I've seen tons of videos of Valletta on TikTok and pictures on Instagram and it just looks like such a beautiful city and you know we've got a plan of what we want to do so I think it's going to be super fun and a super good day and I feel like you can't come to Malta and not not see the capital of Malta so that's the plans for today um but before we do that we're going to head to breakfast at the hotel because that's included um but yeah, I thought I just want to mention as well, if you can see a bump at any point on my head in this video, I don't know how visible it is, but um last night I had my camera around my neck and I was taking it off um you know as we got back to the hotel and I banged myself on the head and I woke up with a lump. Um so yeah, that's great, especially so I want to take loads of nice pictures here for Instagram and stuff, so I mean I'm sure I couldn't always edit that out anyway uh, <laughs> I don't really like to touch my photos too much <clears throat> other than like it just lighting and the shadows and stuff um, but oh well um, <laughs> and yeah I've lost my voice a bit but um, I wanted to talk about the hotel a bit briefly as well because I know I said the hotel was really confusing to get around and um, we figured it out so basically that building over there ooh, it's got out of focus is also <laughs> our hotel so what I mean by when it says it's confusing is like it says certain things are on certain floors so you get in the lift to go to that floor um, and then you get you, you know you come out and it's not there and there's no way there seems to be no way of getting there um, it's because the hotel's in two parts so on the first floor it's like this little co corridor um, which is actually really nice you pass through and that looks <laughs> two sides but it took us a while to figure out like we were trying to go to our room on the ninth floor and ended up on the rooftop hall which we believed was not supposed to be open because it says summer months only but we were still able to walk around but the bar, the rooftop bar, was clearly not open so clearly 
you know, it, it is not open, but we were still able to freely walk around and it was like, oh, are we meant to be here? Um, but yeah, we figured it out now. <laughs> and the hotel does seem to be really nice. It's a shame we're only here for the Easter break. Otherwise, I feel like we could have taken, you know, would have more time to take advantage of the facilities because it's like a spa here. And as I said, it'd be really nice to come in the summer and go to that rooftop pool and bar because it's for 16s and over anyway. So it'd just be like quite, you know, nice and chill. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking it's going to be nice and sunny today. And I'm going to go explore the letter. <laughs> So actually before we went to Valletta we decided to stop off at the World War II bomb shelters because they were only a two minute walk from our hotel and right near the bus station and thought it'd be something that would be really interesting to see and they were. Um, there are more in the island I believe but um, we went to the ones by a hotel in Melilla. We have made it to Valletta and um, that bus took forever because um, it was meant to take an hour because we are staying at like, the complete other side of the island. Um, but there was a lot of traffic so it took a while um, so I think the first stop is going to be to get a drink somewhere because you know we were on the bus for almost two hours we were very dehydrated but we've been greeted by this nice fountain at least and we're yeah, really excited to explore I think the plan is to you know get, get a drink have a walk around maybe walk around the Valletta seafront and um, head to some woman's terrified by a pigeon and <laughs> go to um, there's a street called Straight, Straight Street which is meant to be super pretty it has loads of restaurants and bars so hopefully get some lunch there at some point and head to the gardens Bar uh, the upper Baraka gardens later this afternoon because they let cannons off at 4pm so we want to make sure we get there in enough time to explore and then see the cannon show um, so yeah come along with us <laughs> Okay, so I decided just to cut that clip short just in case the music wasn't royalty free and also it was louder than I was. Um, so we went to this restaurant where actually the majority of the food on the menu was vegetarian. I got a vegan lentil burger and Sophie got a chickpea burger and it was really, really good. Evening God! but we did get a different number that one made less stops and there was no traffic so um, if you are just getting the bus from Melia to Valletta definitely check which bus is the quick, quick bus and if you can go the quick bus get it we just got like the first bus that rocked up um, not really thinking anything about it um, but yeah so we're back now we didn't want to go too far from the hotel because we had a long day I think we're going to have a busy day again tomorrow because obviously we've got so little time here to explore. So we've gone to a restaurant called Tosca, which is an Italian restaurant. They had like, reviews and they've served us really quickly. They've already brought out some like bread and dips. And we've both gone for the roasted vegetable soup, which was the soup of the day. And then I've gone for a gnocchi al pesto. And so we've gone for a pumpkin risotto. So I've got high hopes about this place and Sophie found it and Sophie's good you know she gets a big thumbs up. <laughs> Good 
morning everyone and happy Easter Sunday though you will not be watching this video on Easter Sunday because obviously I'm exploring Malta still today and this video won't be up until probably a week and, um, until a week after I get returned to the um, but yeah, it's so sunny today, which is nice because yesterday I felt like the sun was missing. Like, we met these lovely French people on the bus to Valletta, these lovely two old French ladies. And um, one of them was saying to me, are you not cold? But um, yeah, apparently it was literally, it's literally the same temperature here as it is in France at the moment. Everyone was wearing coats yesterday. To be fair, it was a bit chilly, but like, not coat weather for me, but then that just shows me shows how British I am um, at the moment. Like, this is nice. Like, I hope it stays like this the rest of the day. Um, and we're gonna go explore Gozo, um, I think it's called. I was calling it Gozo, but if you told me it's called Gozo, I don't know. It's um, an island off the coast of Malta. It's meant to be more untouched. Um, so that's the plan for today. I think we're gonna do a hop on and off sightseeing bus if we can just because I read that it's quite hard to explore Gozo um, without a car so it probably just makes sense to have a bus take us around the whole island I've never actually done one of those before like usually I see them in cities and I think well I can just explore by myself with my metro card or by, by foot or whatever but somewhere like this I feel like probably a good time to get on the hop on off bus and hopefully afterwards we will also go to Medina in the evening because I do really want to go to Medina and I heard you only need a couple of hours there so hopefully we will do that that's the plan but um, yeah I'll keep you updated we're gonna go get some breakfast and then get the bus um, I think like three stops from where we are and then you can get the ferry um, to Gozo from there stops because I feel like it just takes time like there's no way we're gonna do all the stops like this is probably gonna be our only other stop so we've done two stops which you probably would have seen because I believe I will have added a voiceover to the last place we stopped at um, but we stopped here for some lunch it is like half two so it's quite a late lunch and um, we ended up going to just like a pasta we ended up going to just a pasta place called Pasta Republic um, so I feel like we walked around like a few of the restaurants in the main sort of square and there wasn't really many 
vegetarian options and stuff and just this is quicker easier because you know at the moment it's like are we even gonna have time to go to Medina as well even though I heard you only need a couple of hours there but we've still got to get you know walk around here after lunch I guess quickly get the bus which comes every 45 minutes then get the ferry then I think we were gonna stop at the hotel <laughs> um, so yeah it would be a bit of a journey and if we did travel by bus to Medina we would have to change so we may end up getting an Uber um, but yeah I'm hungry so I'm just looking forward to some pasta to be fair when we walked past there were some other there were some Spanish girls uh, eating pasta and it looked, it looked really good so Good evening everyone, so we have come to Medina, like planned. Um, I don't know if I'm actually pronouncing it correctly because it feels like there should be an E in between the M and the D. Um, so, yeah, sorry if I am butchering the pronunciation, or if I'm butchering the pronunciation of all of the places here in Malta. Um, and we have like, headed straight to this place called Fontanella Tea Gardens, which is famous. Here, yeah, like I've seen all over TikTok, and no surprise why, because it's a beautiful view of the countryside. If we sit outside, but it's inside, but upstairs, and we can still see it. And we've also got like, the thing of the really nice, like, they do all buildings because it's actually used to be the capital of Malta. Um, if you don't know, it's like the old capital, and it's all medieval. And like, Game of Thrones was filmed here, like, part of Game of Thrones, anyway. I don't watch Game of Thrones, but like, give me a just of, like the kind of vibe going on here um, so this place is like famous for its cakes but because we're here around dinner time we have all this pizza and then we're gonna get cakes afterwards but I think we're gonna get two different cakes because there's just so many to choose from and like share so we both get to try a bit of two cakes rather than one but I think I'm not too sure as yet because we haven't ordered them but I think we're gonna go for the strawberry meringue with one of them because it says on there there's like a little bit of information about the um about the restaurant, the cafe, the tea garden, I should say. And it says, I'm just double checking the year before I get wrong, that that strawberry has been unchanged since 1976. So I'm not like, gotta try that one, and it looks amazing. again everyone I am now back from Malta as you can quite clearly tell but before I end this video I just wanted to give you some tips and advice and talk about some things that um, I really wanted to do in Malta but I wasn't able to do in case you are planning a trip to Malta Karen I'm just one off or you um, have been convinced by this video to plan a trip to Malta and I do highly recommend you plan a trip to Malta um, if you have the opportunity because it was just such a nice destination there's lots to, lots to see and do there and also loads of amazing beaches um, which we didn't get to explore unfortunately due to the short time frame that we had um, but I did see some from <laughs> from buses <laughs> from the bus windows but yes um, I've gone off on a tandem um, the first thing I want to mention is don't just assume that it's going to be warm like early April because of its location. Now I'd heard Malta was a place that people go to like escape for a bit of sun in like the winter and stuff. So I thought oh early April it's near Sicily and Tunisia it's going to be warm and I thought like I only packed for warm weather because I only had a Ryanair under seat cabin bag anyway so I didn't even have space for loads of different options and I just thought it would be warm and you know not to say it was absolutely freezing cold but the first two days I was seeing it being really sunny on, in the UK on like Instagram and stuff and in Malta it was just clouds and because of that it was cold um <laughs> it was well a bit chilly like 
you needed a jacket and everyone was looking at me like I was crazy because I was wearing a skirt and all the locals were wearing coats. Um, though I do think I didn't need a coat. But maybe some jeans. <laughs> maybe those would have been good. Um, and yeah, it's only really sunny when the sun's on you. So definitely bring like a lighter jacket because in the evening it gets chilly and maybe like some trousers um, as well as like summery clothes. So you have that mixture. Um, stuff that you can layer just don't expect it just to be like really hot and think oh you're gonna be in your bikini like I, I didn't wear my bikini at all whilst I was there I probably could have worn it on the last day but we were too busy exploring um yeah another thing I want to mention is that Malta is really easy to get around via public transport and also like you're never really more than an hour's drive away from somewhere because the island's so small so it is really easy to explore and see loads of different places so I feel like wherever you end up staying it's fine um because where we stayed was quite far, far out like Malia that's on one one like one very side of the island near where you get the ferry to Gozo um and it wasn't near like Faletta at all and stuff but there was still like a direct bus to the airport, a direct bus to Valletta, a direct bus to Sal Salima. I think the only place we went to that if we had got a bus we would have had to change was um, Medina but we got decided to get an Uber in the end due to like lack of time frame and it wasn't that long of a drive so I think it was like 15 euros and we were splitting that between two of us so it wasn't really um, a big deal. Um, so yeah, public transport is great, super reliable, um, I will just say, I mean maybe it could be because it was Easter but they didn't have any double decker buses and they were always packed but I could imagine like in August, that would be crazy, like they weren't stopping at some of the stops because they were too full so I was always glad that we were always getting on from like one of the first stops pretty much, um, so that wasn't really an issue for us but something to bear in mind that you may just want to know that you might have to have a little money spare to get an uber just in case you can't get on a bus but we didn't really have issues with public transport other than traffic jams and getting stuck in traffic um which is part of the reason we ended up getting an uber to medina in the end because we'd already been stuck in traffic and a bus journey that should have been like three stops felt like it was taking forever um, and that's probably the only time you would be more than an hour's drive away from somewhere is traffic. Um, and especially as buses have to take, you know, a set route. They can't really afo avoid that. Um, I'm really rambling on here. Um, stuff that we really wanted to do in Malta that we couldn't have done. Popeye Village that was literally right near us. And there was a viewpoint. But although it was right near us, I think like it looked really close to us on maps. But I think it was like... 45 minute 50 minute walk or an hour walk maybe more um there was a bus that went there but obviously we were doing so much that we just didn't really end up going in the end um because we would have just been going all the way there just to take a photo anyway it's a shame because it looks beautiful and like i said there's multiple beaches and stuff which would have been really fun to explore and honestly I wish we had a lot longer in Medina, I could have spent ages taking photos of that beautiful city. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video, if you liked it please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from myself. I am going on a very exciting trip at the end of this month, um, so you'll definitely be seeing more travel vlogs. Um, so make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!